what is a variable argument a variable argument is a feature that was added in java 5 but what exactly is this feature let us talk about it as we have already said this feature was added in java 5 that is your jdk 1.5 this argument is written in many languages like C, C++, etc. But what is the purpose of this variable argument? A variable argument is something that allows you to take n number of argument value. That is, you do not have to write the methods again and again. That is overloading concept. You can just write a single method which can accept zero or more number of arguments that is you do not have to define the length of argument and how do you write is that you write similarly how you define your variable you write your variable name that is int and then age that is your variable name but what is this three dots in case of variable argument the syntax is that write the data type and then followed with three dots and this three dots in java it is called as ellipsis so you write the data type ellipsis and then your variable name so let us see this with the help of an example how can you use a variable argument where you do not have to redefine the method again and again and which can access zero to n number of arguments so in this case we have created a class called var arguments it in the main method it is first calling a display method with no arguments whereas here in the display method you have provided a string data type right so you write it in this particular method should provide or should return certain value but what happens in case of variable argument is that it also allows you zero values it is not necessary for you to pass a value in this method because it accepts string type or it is accepting certain value so the main advantage of variable argument is that you can provide a method or you can call a method with zero arguments as well so now when you call this method with no argument it goes first execute the block of statement it will first execute display method invoked which is just your output method the next it says for string values that is an enhanced for loop which is trying to store the values of this values variable in a variable called s because the values that this variable is holding is of string type therefore when you're moving the values from one string type you need to store it into another string type that is string s and then you would display but in case of first which has no argument it will simply execute the print ln method which displays the output called display method invoke and no action would be taken here because there are no arguments in the second case we say we are calling the display method with certain arguments which has three arguments saying welcome being the first argument then two and then tutorials point so this is more than one argument right so now again this display method will come and all these arguments would be stored in a string of heap which is like values so values will be holding all these arguments now it will first execute its first statement which is an print ln method called display method invoked and then it goes to enhanced for loop yes now you have three arguments therefore these arguments will be moved into your enhanced for loop and then one by one it will print the argument that is it will print welcome then to then tutorials point similarly we have created another method that is we have the same method display we are calling that method with certain other arguments which has four arguments in it it says an example program of varags so each of these arguments again will be stored in the values of heap and then this values will be called in for loop so the main advantage of your variable arguments is that it can accept zero argument or n number of arguments you do not have to specify the length of arguments as you do in your normal methods where you create an integer variable comma string variable so and so and if you call that particular method you have to pass so number of arguments whereas in case of variable arguments these 
three dots which are ellipses allows you to provide zero or number of arguments and you do not have to overload the methods again and again. So let us run this program practically to understand how does the variable arguments work and what happens when each of these methods are called over these values. In this example, we shall learn about the variable arguments. How do you declare variable arguments and what is the main purpose of these variable arguments? We have created a class called where arguments and in that we write a main method which will execute set of statements. And in this class, we have created another method called display, which is a static method. So the display method consists of certain arguments. Normally variable arguments should be the last argument in your method if there are any more variables. Means if you have any more integer variables like a, it should be a, then string, b and so on, where your variable argument is the last in your parenthesis of your method. So the declaration should be the last one and not in between of first. Next, how do you write the variable arguments? To write variable arguments, you need to know what kind of a data type you need and what is the variable name. The main thing, the syntax of your variable argument says that write the data type followed with three dots where these three dots are called as ellipses in Java followed with the variable name. So we have created a variable called values which is of your string type and then the method of the body remains same. So it is in general you write how you write a method how you pass the values will remain the same. Just that how you create variable arguments and how it is useful we need to understand that. So we have created a display method which will accept a variable arguments and when we say variable arguments this can accept zero or any length of variable arguments. You may not need to specify that this particular method will accept only one or zero or three, four and so on. This method which accepts a variable argument can accept any number of variable arguments. It can also be zero. It can accept zero arguments. Then in the bracket, the first statement that we write is we are trying to print the message display method invoked. Next, we have created an enhanced for loop which will help you to traverse these elements that will be stored in values and then print one by one all the value by storing it in S. So let us see in our main method first we are trying to call a display method with no arguments that is zero arguments. So when you say display with zero arguments ideally it will go and search for a method with no argument but with the help of variable arguments which also allows you to come and execute for zero argument it will first execute this particular statement which says display method invoked and then come to enhanced for loop. As this method has no argument, this for loop will traverse no argument. It will only display this particular message. Second time it will go and check and call the display method to execute three arguments, right? As we already said, a variable argument can accept zero or more arguments. So next time it will be accepting three arguments. First, it will execute this particular statement which says display method invoked and second then it comes to for enhanced loop and in this enhanced loop now it will traverse each of the values. Why? Because we have certain values that is my name Monica. These three arguments will be stored in values and then the values will store the value in this string because our values is of string type. Therefore, your enhanced loop should also be of string type and then it will print each of the value. The next again we call a display method with certain four arguments. So we mean to say that a variable arguments allows you to write the methods only once where you may not want the method to be written again and again and by calling a n number of set of values which may be 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 and if you're not using variable arguments and using normal variables 
that is of any primitive data type, then you will have to rewrite the methods again and again. Whereas in this case, you will not have to write again and again. So let us run this program to see the output. And it says that first, the display method invoked, that is your first statement. Second, it called this where again it says display method invoked and it printed each of the arguments that is my name Monica and third time again it went executed the first statement that is display method invoked and displayed the rest of the statements. We have created for string type if you want you can change for your other set of values and the other set of values should accept accordingly that is if you are providing then you need to provide your integer value I'm just providing for example you can change as many as you want to and then execute this program to see the output as you can see this is also accepting your integer value so every time you call your display method it will call this display method and start executing statements line by line